this is the shortest phase. This phase is called anaphase. Okay, anaphase. Okay, the way I remember anaphase is pulling away or apart. Right. So you see, all the chromosomes are being pulled apart. Right. So anaphase away. Okay, that's how I remember it. Okay, I hope that helps you as well. So this is the shortest stage in mitosis, and this is where each centromere splits and the spindle fibers pull the chromatids apart to opposite poles of the cell. So remember poles. Now we are, they are being pulled apart away from the equator, and then once separated, the chromatids are now called daughter chromosomes. Okay, so now for the first time. We have the twins separated. Okay, so no more together anymore. Right, previously they were all joined together. Do you see the big X? Now you only see this little structure here that looks like a boomerang. Okay, so how do we draw this? Right, as I as I just alluded to, they are like little boomerangs, right, or ticks, or your carrots, whichever you want to call it. Right, so this is the shape of the chromosomes during anaphase. Okay, they are being pulled apart, so you must have the spindle fibers also pulling them apart, right? So spindle fibers also pulling them apart. Okay, all these pulling them apart. There are of course some some spindle fibers that are like that, right? So so the all of them are being pulled apart. Okay, anaphase away or apart. Okay, that's how I remember it. And the last phase to complete the whole story. Four phases, right? I mentioned telophase. Okay, telophase T. How I remember it is two. Okay, so at this point, you are going to have two obvious nuclei. All right, you are already starting reaching the end of mitosis. Right, so the whole point of mitosis is what nuclear division. Right, so now we've reached the end of mitosis, end of nuclear division, or towards the end. Remember, it's actually one whole continuous process. Right, so now we are coming to the end of nuclear division. We are going to have two distinct, or actually starting to look more distinct. Uh, nuclei, right? So the daughter chromosomes have now reached the poles of the cell. So they went to the two ends. The nuclei reappear in each uh, daughter nucleus, and the nuclear envelope also uh, reforms around the chromosomes at each pole. Right? So remember, they broke down so that the whole process can happen. They started, and then now they must reform, right? So your nuclear envelope and all these other structures start to reform. What happens as well? The chromosomes decondense to form chromatin, so they are not in that compact structure anymore. And the spindle fibers disintegrate, not needed anymore, right? Finish already, pull finish already, right? So spindle fibers disintegrate, and this is where there's a little bit of overlap. So cytokinesis begins, okay? Cytokinesis, which we learned earlier, was what? The cytoplasm starting to divide, right? Cytokinesis, cyto, if you cannot remember, cyto is the cytoplasm, okay? So cytokinesis is when for the cytoplasm to start dividing, and of course, this is where there's a little bit of difference. If you remember from your cell chapter, one key difference between animal cells and plant cells is a structure that is bounding the plant cell, right? It's the cell wall, right? So there, there, there must be a little bit of difference between the two because there are no cell walls present in any animal cells, and they are only found in plant cells, correct? So for animal cells, uh, cleavage or furrows form, yes, and for plant cell, cell plates form, okay? So slight slight difference at the when the two cells uh, start to uh, start to split. Okay, we we'll learn more about cytokinesis next. But let's complete telophase first because actually cytokinesis is not part of mitosis, but there's a little bit of overlap because some of those processes start to happen. Okay, so how do we draw telophase? If you are being asked now, your nuclear envelope is starting to reform. You can draw the dotted lines again. Okay, the nucleus appears. Right, one nucleus, two. Nucleoli, right? So a nucleus or a nucleoli start to appear, right? So so it's it's starting to look more and more like two different cells already. Remember your cleavage over here, right? You can draw this, right? So this 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 part over here, okay, not the whole thing, but you get uh, the this 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 band in the cell, right? This part, okay? This part. Let me draw the whole thing first, and oops, this part, right? The cleavage. There are two on that, on two on one on each side, right? So that starts to form as well. So this is telophase, two, this more two two more distinct looking entities, right? Okay.